So I will go through and just kind of complete this process anywhere I feel there's a need. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, back at it. I'm not done yet. I just wanted to show you this. You do have to be very careful about this, especially with ZBrush. These are overlapping polygons. See that? So I'm going to pin that one and just move him apart. Pin that one. There we go. No more overlapping. It is very important that you're extra careful not to allow any overlapping polygons. And I am kind of favoring my polygons to like pull them into this empty space because that's more resolution available for the texture definitions. That's why I cut out the eyes and the nose so I can kind of maximize the details there. I oh, forgot to pin him. Here's some more overlappers here. Oops. If you forget the pin, it'll spring right back where it came from. I love the elastic feel of everything. It's definitely a step beyond Lightwave. I'm kind of curious to see how they handle this in Core. I'll probably do something very similar. And you will end up with lots and lots of pins once you're done. But that's okay. Just be sure to save frequently. Okay. I just noticed here that I appear to have a little tear in my object. I must have selected this edge and made a seam when I didn't need it. But that's okay. I will uh, heal that when I go into Lightwave as I'm going to do a lot of things uh, when I get back to Lightweight. Well, a few things. Uh, namely, rearranging all these pieces and kind of fitting them together with without so much space between all the parts. And of course, fitting them all inside of this square. Okay, I want to show you one thing about Silo that uh, is good to know. Uh, I have the lasso selection mode active. And if I drag a loop around this hand and then move the axis, look what happens. Not everything goes along with it. Now why is that? Now it's okay, it's making a mess, but if I if I just wiggle one of these pins, because of the live unwrapping mode, everything will snap back too. Okay, so why did that happen? Well the reason is because of the way left mouse button selection works. If I go in here and I use the lasso to left select, it only selects what was visible to the camera. But if I hold my 
middle mouse button, in my case a little scroll wheel, but if I hold that down and lasso select, then it cuts through everything and selects everything. Just like if I do that here with the middle mouse button, it selects everything all the way through the object. So that's something important to keep in mind. Okay. I have gone through and checked all the overlapping polygons. There weren't a lot, just a couple. And I've kind of cured all these these layouts. You can see I've assigned quite a number of pins, kind of shrinking the stuff that would go towards the back and enlarging the areas that I want more resolution in, like the face for example. You can see the grid pattern is a little smaller because it's taken up more real estate on the face. Where's that face? Here it is. And so I'm ready to uh, push this on over to Lightwave and I will clean up the UVs there. I I could do it here. I think it's just a little bit easier for this kind of operation. I don't have to use the middle mouse button in Lightwave when I'm selecting a chunk and then just I'm just gonna, you know, bunch everything up together and then fit it inside the square area here. But anyway, I'll save this out and I'll see you in Lightwave. Okay, here we are in Lightwave. I have imported the object. I exported the model in Silo as an OBJ object. And uh, I'm going to expand this and tell this view to be the UV map. There it is. Just the way I remember it. So I do remember I wanted to cure this little tear I had in here. It's easy enough to do. I'm just going to unweld this point. Scale that down. Three points eliminated. Okay, so it's healed and it's everybody's the way it should be. Now the only thing to do is just kind of bunch these guys together, all these little islands. and uh, fit them inside the box here. Okay, here I have all the pieces kind of like jigsaw puzzled into trying to fit them in with the least amount of empty space in there. These guys right here are the papers and they're not going to be brought into ZBrush. This is Overlap City here, but that doesn't matter. And uh, so there you go. This is ready for ZBrush pretty much. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of UV mapping in Silo. And I'll see you next time.